What's up y'all, welcome back to Ryan P Media and in this video I'm going to be working on a song and I'm going to be showing y'all some of the effects and plugins I use to get the sound for this particular song. Um, disclaimer, I am not no uh, professional engineer, I didn't go to school for it but you know at the end of the day if it sound right and that's the sound you're going for then it's right make sure y'all hit me up on the hotline if y'all got any requests any videos y'all want to see if you just want to shout me out you know what i'm saying hit the hotline up and i'll play your message or shout you out on the next video and make sure y'all follow my social medias but without further ado let's just jump into the video peace all right so i'm gonna play a little bit of the song and let you guys hear it and then we'll break down how did I get that sound, what effects did I use, blah, 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 blah. All right, so. Ran in the stove, picked up the load, checked up the coke, I'm ready to go. My niggas gon' blow, 30 extendo equipped in the pole, whipping the form with nowhere to go. I was in traffic, the fit it was low, hundreds and fifties all over your hoe, hundreds and fifties and stuffed in the coat. These niggas sheets and I am the go. couple of bags just came off the boat. Talk to the plug, he gave me a quote, the government telling my people to vote. All the fuck I just keep hearing is jokes. Now that vocal, I don't know if you can tell from listening to this, I don't know if you're watching this on a cell phone or you're watching this on a laptop or whatever, but the vocal is a very full, strong vocal. And again, I didn't, I wasn't able to get that vocal unless my gang staging was properly set right. You know what I'm saying? So make sure before you get into the, all of this editing and all of that stuff, make sure that your vocals aren't peaking when you're recording. Because once they start peaking, they're going to sound distorted. I don't care how good of an engineer you think you are. So just make sure that your gang staging is properly set, you know what I'm saying? But okay, so the first thing I always want to do when I'm recording a song, the first effect that I always add on a vocal would be a compressor. The compressor is going to tame them vocals so they're not all over the place. And me personally, again, you know, to each his own, there's no right or wrong way. But I always do the compressor first before I add any EQ, any reverb, delay, anything like that. But um, for this particular vocal, all I did was just lower the gain. I didn't touch the threshold. I didn't touch the ratio. I didn't do none of the attack. I just lowered the gain on it. Um, and I lowered it to 20.3. But again, you know, every vocal is different. So I can't tell you to add this, you know what I'm saying, to your vocal. But for this particular vocal, I added um, a compressor, lowered the gain. Then uh, with the parametric EQ2, I did a uh, um, high pass. I mean, uh, yeah, the, uh, the high pass filter, and that's just to take out some of the muffledness, some of the 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 the, the stuffiness in the song, if you will. You know, to make it sound clear. So I just dragged that over. Um, in between the two and the three, it's actually 275 hertz, but you know, again, it depends on your ear and what sound you're going for. But for this particular vocal, that's what I did. And then, one thing I always do with my parametric EQ once I add my uh EQ and my effects and stuff like that, I always raise it up a little bit. You know, that's optional, but that's just what I do. It helps the vocals, you know, sound real strong or whatever. Um, you know so i guess try that if you don't normally do that just add your effects and everything and then just raise it up a little bit you know not not quite to the six but just right under the six just raise it up a little bit and you'll hear a difference in in your in your vocals i guarantee you um a little okay now this is one thing about reverb depending on the song but you never want to add too much reverb to your rap vocals especially if it's not like singing because one thing with reverb do it weakens your vocals i've learned that you know what i'm saying it takes away from the strength of your vocals so you never want to go od on reverb unless you're doing a song with auto tune in it and you're singing and you know what i'm saying that's the sound you're going for but just for rap vocals you never want to just add too much because it will weaken it uh add a little delay self-explanatory you know um a sound goodizer I added a sound goodizer because the sound goodizer, I always say it's like the steroids to the to the vocal. I use Maximus. Maximus can be used as a compressor, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean why I use Maximus. So 
Ran in the stove, picked up the lo- Ran in the stove, picked up the load, checked out the coke, I'm ready to go. My niggas gonna blow. 30 extendos equipped in the pole, whipping the form. Now, if you see those are the vocals or whatever, none of them are coming over that line. Anything Ren- in purple, anything in the purple is like excess vocals, you know. So everything is under this line and it gives it a consistent sound. So, for example, if I raise it up. Ran in the stove, picked up the load, checked out the coke, I'm ready to go. My ni- You see how all of those are different sizes. Some are tall, some are little. And it has your vocals all over the place. So I use Maximus as a form of a compressor, and that way everything is even and got a consistent sound. Ran in the stove, picked up the load, checked out the coke, I'm ready to go. My niggas gonna blow. 30 extendos equipped in the pole, whipping the form with nowhere to go. I was in traffic, the fit it was low. Hundreds and fifty. You know what I'm saying? So everything got a consistent sound or whatever. So that's what I use Maximus for. And um, also with the Maximus, when you lower that uh, post gain. It's okay to take the pre-gain and like raise it up a little bit to get some of that back that you lost, some of the vocals that you back, you, that you lost, you get some of those back. So, um, the stereo shaper or whatever, that's that's pretty much just like another form of a sound organizer, honestly. Like it's just another, you know, another because you got to think when you're adding a lot of compression to your videos. I mean, a lot of compression to your uh, your vocals and stuff like that. You're losing a lot, so sometimes you have to aim, uh, add some of that back. You know what I'm saying? So a stereo um, shaper is very good to add. Um, then I add another compressor, you know, and I did the same thing. I lowered it at 20. Well, this is 20.8 gain. You know what I'm saying? So I just add another compressor. It's okay to add multiple compressors. You don't want to over compress your vocals because then they just sound sound muffled and trash, and they don't sound right and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So it's okay to add more than one uh, compressor to your vocals or whatever. All right, so that's pretty much it. What I did for that particular vocal. So some of the effects that I use to get you know that particular sound try these same effects and then just tweak them to your liking you know what i'm saying but all right i'm out thanks for watching ron p media make sure y'all follow me on all my social medias and make sure that y'all stay tuned because i will be dropping a new mixtape soon called paid in full and i'm out thanks for watching peace